Come and get it, come and get it With Peter Russell Clark In the city or the outback He's Australia's brightest spark Come and get it, come and get it Good food you love to eat Come and get it, come and get it And there's people you can meet Cook a shark or make a damper Feed your ego, pack a hamper On a farm or out at sea Learn a recipe or three Come and get it Good day. Russell. Good day. Ah! Restaurants started in Paris years and years ago. There were restaurative stops for the traveller. They stopped and re uh, restored their health with a big bowl of soup. That's what they were all about. And then, uh, like rabbits, they they proliferated. They're just about everywhere. When they came to Australia, they started with big, heavy French food, covered in gravy, all that sort of business. Now the food's become lighter. There's a, an Asian influence to it, which I think is excellent. And at this place, Don Levy's is run by my mate, Brian Taylor. Brian, you might join me. Uh, Brian is telling me that, that vegetables are on the way back, and I'm uh, pretty pleased about that. But at one stage, you didn't have them on the, the menu, and people started asking for them. And that's true, Peter. We had, um, we would never, had never had a, a vegetarian dish on, but now we find that uh, so many people are asking. We've, we've got the main course as a vegetarian dish, and there are also a couple of um, entree dishes that can be uh, had by the vegetarian as well. It was interesting, when you took steak off the menu, people complained and you had to put steak back. True. And so steak and vegetables are back in, but maybe yeah. not, not together. <laughs> and so you just serve this as a straight vegetarian dish. Is it uh, true that other people, apart from vegetarians, are starting to order it though? Oh, true, true. I think there's a lot of people who don't want a heavy meal. So and, what's uh, that, for instance? This is a uh, roulade, a mushroom uh, and uh, leek and carrot roulade. And uh, dependent upon the vegetarian too, I mean, that has got cream in it. But uh, that also can be eliminated. Yeah. See, for instance, uh, when I come here, I often order a fish entree and then get into the, the That's vegetarian right. stuff. That's right. All right. I might go back to the kitchen and we'll have a look at a few more exciting vegetables. There you go. Maybe it's not the most unusual thing you've ever seen, a lime. You know, the limeys, the poms are called after that little number. They've been about for ages. They kept the, the British Navy afloat for a billion years. So they're slightly unusual, but not as unusual as that. What? Do you reckon that is unusual? I reckon that's unusual. That's a beetroot. Most people think beetroot are, are spherical and grow in tins. They don't. That's a beetroot. And the way we're going to cook it is unusual. It shouldn't be, because all we're going to do is to cook that whole, well, all of it, I mean, and serve that up as a vegetable, because most people only serve it as a salad with a bit of onion or something chucked on it, and that's bad luck. That's a, a thing you also use in salads. That's an onion, but it's a salad onion. It's a new one to Australia. Uh, it comes from America, and it's terrific. Cut it open, and it looks like that. I don't. I'm going to serve that stuffed with these little numbers here. They're pistachios. Right -o. That is a sweet potato, often mistaken for a yam. A yam and that look just about the same. Ask any Aboriginal or Red Indian you meet because the Aboriginals eat yam and the Red Indians of America eat those things, sweet potatoes. They look exactly the same inside. They're like that. A beautiful orange uh, orange colour, <laughs> orange flavour too, I suppose, or they can be white. I like that colour personally, and that's some cress. It's actually a mixture of cress and mustard seed. It's very good, right? So I'm just going to mix all those together with that fish I said as an entree, right? And that is simply trout grown in Tassie, and it looks terrific, doesn't it, right? The way I'm going to cook that is to pop it into a pan with just some warmed butter. I'm not going to actually cook it quickly, it just warms in that, uh, in that butter. A lot of people actually poach that. I'm just warming it in the butter. I cut the onion, get one of these little numbers and just push it in so it looks like that. But, uh, the beetroot has been cooked, all I did was get it, pop it into a microwave, leave it there for about more 15 minutes and that comes out and I peel it, serve the whole lot up on a plate like that and it looks pretty decorative, doesn't it? Come and get it with Peter Good day. Russell. Good day. Ah!